What a great project. I mean, that is like, it's uh, the brainchild of uh, Scott P. Cunningham. Um, so they have a call for ideas um, every year. You know, we're gonna do these projects and we have this mission of having everyone in Miami encounter a poem during the month of April, National Poetry Month, and if you have any ideas, send them in and uh, we like them, we'll fund them. I came up with the idea of the parking signs, um, the poetry signs that look like uh, street signs, uh, which was more popular than I ever expected. I mean, they really have had, like, I don't even know now, half a dozen shows where, you know, people are around the country and here have, like, asked for those to be in the show. And it was fun to do it. Maybe it was my closest I've come to performance art, if you want to call it that, and that we decided to uh, guerrilla install them rather than going through any kind of uh, city official. And so we just said, just do it. Print up shirts that look official and then get one of those yellow hard hats and the orange cones and just they'll think you're like you know it's a, they said department of poetry works and so even in we, there were policemen around in different places and we never got stopped any place other than metro zoo uh, the guard came upon us and she laughed and that was very funny but uh, you take it down you know I'm not leaving it here it started with a poem actually um, uh, by a, a, art, a poem, a poet named Wallace Stevens, who wrote a poem called "The Only Emperor Is the Emperor of Ice Cream." See that their wrappers came up as a great idea, and then I figured out that well, wait a minute, I could just print the wrappers here on my laser printer, and w in, in which case everyone could be different. You could have like you know 1,700 different poems if you had that many poems, It'd be a lot more work on the inside, you know. But um, uh, but we ended up with like I don't know 100 and some poems. Even today, people were talking about the uh, at the art show I went to. A lot of people came up to me and said, "I just love that whole project. It was so neat. All the people so involved, and uh, that was really. I was so happy uh, that the way that it worked out with the Honors College that was just amazing, like pure magic. The whole thing." <laughs>